En el mundo paranormal, una de las actividades que más nos llama la atención son las exploraciones urbanas. Y es que aquellos que se atreven a investigar en estos lugares desolados han logrado captar varios fenómenos extraños y paranormales. A continuación veremos algunas exploraciones donde lograron captar situaciones bastante aterradoras y siniestras. Atrévete a mirar a través de los ojos del abismo y veamos hacia lo desconocido. Un guardia de seguridad se encontraba hablando con una mujer, o al menos eso él creía, ya que los que estaban viendo las cámaras de seguridad le advierten que él estaba completamente solo. Veamos. Dispatch 329. Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. He said he wants to see Mr. Griffin. And I told her that the time was closed. So that he could come tomorrow morning and he might see Mr. Griffin. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. Miss Abigail, is, she, she died two years ago. No, there's nobody in front of you at all. Un explorador se adentró en un cementerio en el cual, cuando pidió a alguna entidad manifestarse, logró captar varias cosas. Veamos. Right. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? Whoa. Okay, I just heard you. At this moment, a woman's whisper intelligently responds to my question. Holy crap. I just heard a female whisper on here. Okay, I heard you. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I don't know how often you get visitors, but I'm here right now. If there's anything you'd like to say, now's your chance. If you're still here, could you tell me your name? Because unfortunately there's, there's really no way for me to tell. I really want, don't want to dig around your grave shambles because I don't want to damage it any further. You don't have to be shy, ma'am. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. But that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I heard that. I heard you once again. Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. All right. I'm gonna review this when I get home and I'll know your message. The woman's whisper returns once more, and sounds like it is saying... Hello? 
Hello? I heard you walking again. I would really like to get to know you. Oh, it is so scary out here. You have no idea how freaky it is. My infrared camcorder just captured this ethereal form drifting through the darkness. Could this be the same spirit that has been walking up and down this trail all throughout the night? Oh, whoa, whoa! What the hell was that? Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! That sounded like the fence. Did you just rattle this fence? If that was you, and you just rattled this fence, could you do it again? Whoa. Holy moly. Dude, this is crazy. This fence keeps rattling. Upon request, the fence rattles once more, further validating that I was not alone. What's your name? Here, I could try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? Whoa. Okay. I take that as a yes. Thank you. I take it you're a female. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Does that say what I think it says? Five years old? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. That is so tragic. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you come off so playful. My name is Ian, and I'd just like to be your friend. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. Could you say it once more? Dude, oh my god, I just heard you again! I just received an intelligent response from what sounds like a ghostly little girl and now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five, and Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. Would you like your picture taken? Pose for the photo. Could you smile? Alright, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty little girls staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair, and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. I was already under the belief that Nanny and Ida's ghosts were in my presence. I now have photographic proof to back it up. Una persona salió de su casa completamente extrañada a causa de que llegó a escuchar como si unos niños estuviesen jugando a horas de la madrugada, lo cual es bastante extraño. Al momento de grabar en la calle, se percató de pequeñas figuras que estaban ahí, lo cual dice que esos no eran niños. Veamos.
Un vigilante que trabaja en una fábrica de tequila en Jalisco salió en busca de lo que pensaba se trataba de un infante, ya que escuchaba como si una niña estuviese llorando. Pero una niña en un lugar así, cuando no hay nadie más que solo él, es demasiado extraño. Veamos. Esto pasó en una fábrica en tequila, Jalisco. Y cuéntame, ¿qué opinas? Puedes dejarlo abajo en los comentarios. Te invito a que te suscribas para que puedas ver más contenido. Y si te gustó el video, regálame tu like. Te lo agradecería muchísimo. Te habló Omares y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.